high. It is often seen when one compressor fails and we replace it with a new compressor, there are high chances that the second compressor also fails. In this video, we are going to talk to you about uh, this trick, how to ensure that your second compressor does not fail. Subscribe our channel for more such videos. So today I'm going to talk to you about a very nice product called Mighty Rinse. Mighty Rinse has got two major uses. What happens when uh, one compressor fails due to a compressor burnout or something like that? There is a layer of carbon which is accumulated inside the copper pipe, inside the condenser, evaporator, etc. So we need to ensure that this carbon uh, layer is completely clean before we install the next compressor. So that's when this uh, chemical comes into play, it's called Mighty Rinse. Now this basically is a replacement for uh, CTC which we were using it earlier, which has been banned now. So this is completely safe, the earlier, uh, the earlier chemical was very bad for the atmosphere, so it has been banned. So what you have to do is, when one compressor fails, you have to uh, put this chemical inside the copper pipe. Uh, you can uh, use a normal funnel and put this chemical and then flush it with nitrogen. You can uh, flush uh, with this also, you can just put this in the copper pipe and you can uh, flush your uh, nitrogen. You can connect this to the uh, nitrogen cylinder or else you can use your normal funnel. How much chemical to put? It will depend upon your carbon formation. So what uh, the indication is when uh, you flush it from one side, from the other side, it should be a completely clean fume coming out. If there is, it's a dark or blackish fume, that means there is still carbon inside the copper pipe. So you have to ensure that the other side is completely clean and then only you install the second compressor. This will um, help you in ensuring that the compressor doesn't fail again. And the second very important use of this uh, Mighty Rinse is when you're installing copper pipes for VRVs, which are huge like 100, 200 or 500 feet, when we are bracing the copper pipe, there is oxidation happening inside. So we try to avoid that by uh, putting a 2 PSI nitrogen uh, uh, all the time when we are bracing. But when it's a big site, it's very difficult to avoid everywhere. So uh, what I would recommend is once you finish your copper pipe, just flush the entire uh, copper pipe with this uh, mighty rinse in the same way which I described earlier. Also, there is an instrument you get it uh, specially for flushing that or you can just do it with a normal funnel and a nitrogen flush. So these are the two important things this um, Mighty Rinse does and just ensure before buying that it's, it's Mighty Rinse. Just one word of caution, don't uh, run this chemical through your brand new compressor. Thank you for watching.